Wednesday and Freeze Noble Nights, and welcome to the Nightly News. I'm Grace. Fridays are fantabulous. And I'm Jill. Today is Friday, January 9th, 2015, and today is an A-Day, and this is KNN. At this time, will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today for your dining pleasure at the Cafe de la Frise, you will enjoy chef salad bar, cheese and pepperoni pizza, fish sandwich, potato soup, green beans, broccoli salad, pineapple tidbits, and seasonal fresh fruit. Thanks Grace, and now it's time for an interesting fact for today. On this day, oh, did you know that on this day in 1929, the Seeing Eye was incorporated in Nashville, Tennessee. The company's purpose was to train dogs to guide the blind. The C.C. Griffin Boys and Girls Soccer Teams will be holding skill development sessions starting next quarter. If you are interested in playing soccer, go to C.C. Griffin for C.C. Griffin this spring. Go to the soccer page on the C.C. Griffin website and complete the sign-up form. Attention Anime Club, don't forget to bring your drawings to club today for the drawing contest. This will be an anonymous competition, so please do not include your name on the drawing. For questions, see Ms. Rawls in room 616. Attention 8th graders, Central Cabarrus' STEM program will host open house for prospective students on Monday, January 12th at 6.30 p.m. Remind your parents, and now please stand by for Dr. Williams' announcements and words of wisdom. Good morning, Jay and Free staff and students. Now for a few words of wisdom. Today's words of wisdom align with the learner profile traits of being open-minded. How many of you have seen the great California redwood trees? Did you know that they are named after the great Native American named Sequoia? Sequoia created a kind of alphabet called the Silbury for the Cherokee language. While he was working on the alphabet, he spent hours drawing odd-shaped symbols. Many people called him a fool. Some even accused him of witchcraft. Despite all this, he pressed on and completed his alphabet, which was a great contribution to the Cherokee Nation. Now listen to these words from another Native American named T.D.S. Kung. When you begin a great work, you can't expect to finish all at once. Therefore, press on and let nothing discourage you till you have entirely finished what you have begun. Whether you want to master the violin, break a record in sports, or do something before that has never done before, believe in yourself and press on. With something to think about, this is Dr. Williams. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. I hope you have a wonderful Friday.